somebody came out to actually say you don't want Sharia, but yet you want to, you know, go to Dubai for holidays where Sharia is being practiced. Why some other persons are now blasting out the person? Yet you want Sharia, you ban alcoholic drink in the north, in some northern state, and yet you are collecting tax from alcoholic drink being sold in other part of the country to fund your project and what a kind of um, you know hypocrisy is that that is what some people are now talking about and then i see have um Tinubu takes nine billion naira from lagos internally generated revenue account monthly that is coming from body judge and uh, we still need to talk about um you know the uk prime minister seen running to catch a train in uk and that is actually commendable and i believe that yes in nigeria that will not happen because uh we are known or you know no, notorious for bullying our subjects just because they elected us you know uh political offices but before i jump right in i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media yes somebody came out to blast everyone of us who does not want Shara in um the country right now and they are saying that yes you don't want sharia but you want to travel to dubai where there is uh, sharia and it's being practiced and you want to go for holiday but right now you need to also understand that yet you don't want alcoholic drink you want tax collected from alcoholic drink to develop your state and you are not looking into that aspect <laughs> and such is uh hypocrisy that is what some people are now talking about i will read out what he tweeted on uh, social media on his twitter page that is getting a lot of us talking right now yes according to what bello shagari tweeted he said you don't want sharia but yet you want to go to dubai for holidays if Shara is such a threat, why is the Dubai the number one tourist and holiday destination in the world? That is what this person is saying. Um, Dubai, um, according to him, said, yes, everybody wants to go to Dubai where Sharia is being practiced. But I think it's not practiced the way we practice it in Nigeria. You know, in recent time, in most states, a lot of people have complained about some certain issues. Yes, you ban alcoholic drink. You come to Abuja, they give you allocation from revenue and taxes collected from alcoholic drink. You go to your state and develop your state. That is such an hypocrisy. Somebody came out and said they should be deducting uh, from that state the percentage of alcohol um, tax taxes generated on alcoholic drink and giving them some allocation so that yes we know that okay you people ban alcoholic drink you don't want anything to do with alcoholic drink and the rest and develop your state without alcoholic drink and that is what some people are now talking about this person has come out to say a lot of things without looking in that direction i saw um some kind of a comment going on on social media but i think uh, nigeria government they need to understand that nigeria is a secular state it's not um a religious um you know country like that that is something you need to understand we have christian muslims we have traditionalists we have a taste is a lot of people in Nigeria. What do you have to say about that? Put that in the comment section below. <laughs> Guys, no state will develop it by hypocrisy. That is what I believe about the whole thing. Let's a kind of uh, be guided on the kind of things we see on social media and post on social media so far. What do you have to say about this? Put that in the comment section. What you feel about, um, you know, kind of uh, Sharia and the rest in Nigeria? Because some people are soliciting that. Yes, Sharia court and Sharia, this thing should be implemented or should be created in some part of the country. I need your own opinion about that.
Yes, recently, Body George came out to say Tunubu takes 10 billion naira from Lagos internally generated revenue account monthly. That is a huge sum of money. On what account? This is an, a kind of allegation that is supposed to be investigated. But because of some political class, political elite, and some political affiliations, I think some persons are sacred to the nation no matter what they do. And this is actually impacting in the development and the acceptance of a lot of people as Nigerians. And that is quite disturbing to an extent. The kind of unity in Nigeria is gradually um, you know, coming to an end because of uh, political sentiment here and there. What do you have to say? Let me read out, um, according to Sarah reporters, what they actually reported about this particular um, you know, case. Why is Body Judge saying it now? Um, that is what they are are now talking about because this person have been eating and dining with um, um, Tinubu in the past uh, now uh, because you guys are having some kind of conflict you are coming out to tell us no wonder the only of you came out to say man all these old folks should actually retire from politics and allow the young ones to take um, the, 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 the mantle to take uh, this terrain uh, and these guys are not ready to retire anytime yet they enacted a law saying that um, somebody should retire from active service you know at the age of 60 does it mean now that um, ghosts can still run the country that is what some people are now talking about let us um, proceed with the report from Sarah report I said Tunubu takes 9 billion naira from Lagos internally generated revenue account monthly you know, body judge. Uh, body judge accused Bola uh, Ahmed Tunubu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress (APC), of taking nine billion uh, naira monthly from the Lagos State internally generated revenue account. How is he having access to that account? We need more explanation on that. But because of some political affiliations, we are not seeing results. At the end of the day, the common man suffers all of this and i know that one day is going to change and the future of nigeria is going to be on the shoulders of the young people of our generation because these persons are not ready to leave offices we need to actually force them out retire them out of politics and take the bull by the horn which kind which trap which kind you do can make you do the things you do yes the last thing i want to talk about i saw a video online making um the social media a lot of people talking about it the uk prime minister saying running just to catch up with the train and that will never and can never happen in nigeria where a minister where a president will run to catch up with the train or um, you know, kind of a flight or the bus or a public bus that will never happen in Nigeria. That is what they are now saying. We see them beat traffic every day. We see them, you know, beat the traffic light every day and the rest, almost causing accidents on the road because they have such impunity to do anything they want to do. Yes, this is a civilized country where everything is working, where every Nigerian wants to go to uh, right now. Where most of them are building their houses making things work they don't beat traffic there even if you are the highest politician in the country you don't do that but in nigeria even a policeman will beat traffic nothing will happen because of the level of corruption and impunity going on in this country a lot of people are like us we are no longer believing uh, the country in the hands of these old people uh, these politicians so far we need to take the country by our own hands and then steady ship and plan digitally on how to move forward that is what we are clamoring for we saw that at the, um you know during the NSAS protest a lot of people were like man nigerians are gradually waking up at the end of the day but what can we say right now we need to go into some political uh, parties and and take over their you know some certain key positions to implement things and make it what a why but desmond elliott actually disgraced a lot of young people in the street that is why most people are not too happy with the young persons in the street right now 
we have the youngest governor, you know, actually disgracing us for a while without adequate uh, development in the state, wants to come out as the president of this country. That is quite disturbing. Before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. And don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below.